a video in the middle of the week from me, that is unheard of. Hi, this is a very random video and I didn't plan to film it and I don't even know if I'm going to post it, but I still thought it might be fun to film. So here I am. Um, it is currently the 30th of April, which is the last day of April, and I still haven't finished this book. I'm currently reading Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert, and I read this last month as well, and I said that I'd finish it. I didn't, and I said I'd finish it this month. Haven't. Um, so I really, really, really want to try to finish this today. I still have 131 pages, which is almost half of the book and that doesn't sound like a lot but this is old english you can probably see but and the writing's quite tiny but it's the fact that it's old english so it's slower to read as you have to process what the hell they're saying so yesterday i timed myself and i read 28 pages in like 12 minutes so I still have 131 pages, which means that it would take me roughly five hours to read this, according to ChatGPT. And when I heard that, my soul crushed. <laughs> five hours. Um, but I do understand how. Also, sometimes in the middle of reading, I'd get bored of reading and I put it aside and everything. So today I really want to challenge myself to finish this. So. Come along with me and see if I manage to. Let's hope for the best. Yay! That you give. 11 pages read, 120 to go. I still have a long way, but we're getting this. We're doing this. We got this. You and me, we got this. So it is currently 8.40 p.m. And I was supposed to do a lot of reading, but um, life changes. So uh, I went with my mom and my sister to a thrift store, or well, multiple ones, um, and my reading kind of got derailed. But I want to show you what I got, so like a little thrift haul, and then I'm going to talk again about the books, because I'm so excited about the things that I bought. So here they are. Okay, so this is the first thing. This is the favorite thing that I got today, though I did get some really good stuff. I got this little top. Look how cute. Like, oh my God, it's so stunning. And look at this beadwork. It is so beautiful. Do you see that? It's oh, so stunning. I'm so excited for it. I hope you can hear me, but I'm so excited for this. And then I got this little polo shirt. Just simple one. Um, because I don't really have a lot of tops. So this one here, this is very simple. Then I got this sweatshirt, sweater, whatever. It's like this, it looks very basic, but it has a little cute sun. And then, and the material is so nice. Like this is the most comfortable material ever. And I've just put makeup on it. Great job me, but I have to wash them anyway, so. It'll, it'll get off. Then I got this. Also very cute. How pretty is that? So cute. And it has all these flowers. So very spring. And then we have this beautiful dress. Oh, you can't see it because it doesn't really look much on camera but it is so adorable in real life. So that was my little thrift haul. And as for the book, 
I still have like 107 pages to read and <laughs> 107 pages is a lot considering the amount I've read today. So um, the day doesn't end till I go to sleep, even if that is 6 a.m. So there's time. I still have 107 pages, but I can do it. I can do it. Like I just have to focus, concentrate and just do it. But I won't go to sleep till I finish this one. Like I am here, if you can see. So quite a lot to read, but I am confident in myself. This will be finished in April, 100%. Okay, so wish me luck. It is currently 1140 and I am seriously starting to doubt the validity of this experiment because I still have 89 pages to read. 89. Like, I had a whole day. And like, I'm still here. So, I will try. I will try my best. But, um, we'll just have to see, I guess. I promise nothing. Again, I really want to finish this. Please. But... <laughs> writing the writing is so tiny can you see that please focus so you can see my pain oh my god please just trust me the writing is like a page of this is two pages of a normal book and i am slowly starting to lose it so i will give it a little bit more because i usually go to sleep at two anyway so I will try my best, but this book is seriously testing me. Also, this is the complete and unabridged version, unabridged, and I can feel it. I can feel it deep within me. So <sighs> let's try, I guess. Let's just keep pushing forward. It is currently 1 a.m. and I am extremely exhausted, but... I still have 69 pages, 69, I got this, I can do this, I'm not going to sleep till I finish this, because if I leave it now, I am not going to pick it back up, so we can do this, we got this, yeah, you and me, we're in this together, let's go. It is currently 3.30 a.m. and I finished it. I am done. I have finished it. I am so happy. And as much as I want to talk about this, I'm just dead tired. So I'm going to remove my makeup and then go to sleep. And I'll tell you all about this tomorrow. But just so you know, I finished. 3.30 a.m. But I finished. Let's go to tomorrow. Welcome back. So I promised you an update and here it is. I am well rested, well, as rested as I can be. And let's talk about the book, which I finished in April. This is Robin Hood by Henry Gilbert. This is the complete and unabridged version. And I gave it a 3.25 stars out of five. It was really nice. I like the story in general. The plot is great. Um, but it sometimes it felt like it dragged, like it kept bringing all these names that weren't necessary. And there were so many names, so many names. Um, and in the beginning, I had a really hard time picturing Robin Hood as a human because I very much thought about the Disney Fox version of Robin Hood. So I had to remember that he's a human and that Disney did not make him a fox. Um, well, the original author did not make it a fox. And I don't know, I thought it was great. The plot in itself was fantastic. I still have to go over the, like the half of the book that I read and, and it like put all the tabs in the annotations that I've uh, underlined. But I love that there were pictures from time to time because they were beautiful. Like this one here. And the thing I love the most about this is the morals and just the idea of loyalty that all of Robin's men had. Now this has quite a sad ending. I did not expect that. I thought it would be like 
happy and cheerful and hooray Robin, but it was more towards a realistic end, if you will. And the last few chapters really depressed me. Like I was like, what did I read this for? I did I didn't sign up for this, but it was a really good book overall, and I definitely recommend for everyone to read it at least once. Um, because I thought it was fantastic. Like it was a great book. I didn't give it a five stars because I have to be in a certain mood to be in, to give it a five stars. I have to absolutely love it, even if the book is bad. Like it's a me thing. So for you, it might be better or worse. But for me, it was a 3.25. This is the last book of April. And I am so proud of myself for finishing it, even though it was like 3.40 a.m. when I finished it, which is crazy, keeping in mind that I woke up at 6 a.m. So that was an adventure. There you have it. This is the book and I'll hopefully edit this and post it today. So a video in the middle of the week from me, that is unheard of. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls